Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, is unfortunately a sad day for you. But before we get into that, let's talk just for two seconds about our live show tonight. Oh, yeah. That is tonight. That's right. Live show tonight, 8 p.m., Trent versus Kurt. I'm going to come out the winner. If, 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 you that, wanna see, that. if you want to see me win, <laughs> just crush crush whatever we have going on tune in tonight 8 p.m it's gonna be a good time we're gonna we're gonna do yeah. some giveaways yeah oh yeah um for sure <laughs> if kurt loses i get a point in, yeah. in kurt versus trent and then vice versa yeah. I, I don't know if the stakes are a little bit higher because this is a live yeah, maybe we'll talk about that because we'll get that figured out because i've got one bottle that i'm positive 100 percent that trenton has never tried and i personally think it's fantastic so i am challenging him to bring three of his own choices They'll be poured blind, three or four. Okay, so yeah. So whatever you want okay, it to be, okay. three or four. They'll be poured blind. Trent and I will be blind tasting those. If mine comes out on top, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got to we gotta solidify a couple more rules, but. I have a small percentage chance to win, though. See, you got, you got, I'm just giving, like I'm giving the you all the, oh, <laughs> I'm giving you all that room to win, dude. I'm getting in your head already. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, don't miss it. It's going to be tons of fun, as always, with the giveaways and the whole nine yards. So 8 p.m. tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. Hope to see you there. Now, getting back to the sadness of this video. I, My heart hurts a little bit. Actually, it hurts I, on this side. I don't know if I'm I, like... I don't even know why, but I feel bad for you. It's not going to be fun. But you know. I feel like I feel like we got to do it, or at least yep. I got to do it. Yep. And before we talk about... Well, I'll actually say what we're going to do. <laughs> what we're going to be talking about first. There are so many allocated bourbons that come out now, and there's so many bourbons that kind of demand a higher MSRP for what they are. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you when we do videos on it whether we think they're good, whether they think they're bad, but that's just our opinion. You know, there's some people that have a lot of, everybody has a different palate than we do. Sure. So it's hard to say for sure. sure that if we say something about a bottle that you can relate to, to kind of what we're saying based on your palate versus our palate. But one thing that I feel like you, you, you say about me a lot is that I, I find a ton of allocated stuff and I, I sort of do. It is. But, and you know, it's cool because we kind of have our own thing. I do the yeah. allocated stuff. You do yes. the, like the budget or the, yeah. the available on the shelf. Kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New stuff that comes out, you can find on the shelf. Love to find that. Yeah. But just because it's allocated mm -hmm. doesn't always mean it's going to be good or no. a good value. No. So today I'm going to be talking about four, four bourbons and four whiskeys, four bourbons or whiskeys that for me, and I think for you also just kind of miss the mark, uh, for, for what they are, for what the price demands, for what the allocation is mm -hmm. and all the hype and everything. Mm -hmm. And this first one is, is tough because it's a weeder. I love weeders. And the previous weeder, uh, from this was the, yes. like our top, our number one bottle of last year, I think. Yeah. For if allocated I, bourbons. Yeah. And that is the old Fitz. 19. 19-year oh, sure. uh, Old Fitzgerald Heaven Hill. I think this was 229 or 249, and it was extremely allocated because it's 19-year-old. Yeah. 19, 19 year old. There's a bunch of hype around that, too. It's supposed to be the last decanter bottle, but you've been talking it may not be. I hope not because it's classic. It's, I love it. It's a great bottle. And these go back. I've seen bottles like the decanter stuff from like the 60s and the 70s, and they're yes. cool. So I hope they don't kind of steer away from yeah. that. But the 17 was so good. Oh, oh, delicious. And I don't, I don't, it might be a little bit unfair for us to say, like, to compare the two apples to apples mm -hmm. when you get to that high of, a, of an age statement. Yeah. But the price is 249 The allocation right. is, is super difficult. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, like, we got this six months ago or something like that. And it's, we haven't yeah. had a whole lot and of we it. We poured it for some shows too. So yeah. that's kind of what's yeah. probably been out of it. And I've I've been holding out on the fact that you know maybe if we let it open up that it might mm -hmm. kind of add a little bit to it, but I just find it to be kind of lackluster compared to what the seventeen was. I haven't had it in a while, so I'll kind of mm. based on your facial expressions, you're not well, too thrilled either. Let me put it this way to you, Trent. If I would have walked in to the liquor store and paid you know sixty, seventy, maybe eighty bucks for that bottle, I would be yeah, okay. But in speaking with what that bottle is, you know, it's just, it's just kind of bitter. Oaky. A lot of oak. Dry. Yeah, I don't, yeah, and to be dry. fair, I don't expect a bourbon that old to be not oaky. Oh, but, no, no, no. But it's the type of oaky that right. I would, I could almost mistake yeah. for like a young oak in some yeah, regards. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a little obtrusive. Yeah. It's a little aggressive. It's, uh, 
bitterish. Yeah, is the best way I can put it. And when the seventeen years was just like sweet, delicious toffee, it was just. It just all around, all yeah. around sweet, all around hitter that one, and then this yeah. one. Two years more, I was expecting yeah. a lot, yeah, and I got a lot, a lot yeah. less than what I was expecting. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. No, that's okay. We, you know, I got the, I don't. This is better than the Crown Twenty Three Apple. So that's <laughs> that's that's a good, that's a bonus at least. Got that About the same price point. Oh my gosh. This next one, also a weeder, so it hurts me even more. Wow. But this is, um, I was super excited to get this bottle, Weller Single Barrel. I heard a lot about it. I heard a lot of people say that they liked it. And I think this one in particular is 97 proof. I think they might proof all of their single barrels to 97 mm -hmm. proof. I'm historically a big fan of uh, like Weller Full Proof. Yeah. Um, over the years, as, I, as, I, as I've gone back to like Weller 12, I've been a little bit less impressed. But this had so much hype. This was like $900 on secondary. Mm -hmm. I didn't pay that. I got no this. No way. Yeah. I kind of went with that a little bit and just didn't register. You're telling me 900. 900. Yeah. Oh, and as as more of these are coming out, I've noticed that the secondary price is going down pretty dramatically. Now it's like five. The the CYPB is is more than this one. I've never even had a taste of that. I had some at Jay's and it, it was it was pretty good. It's pretty good. But I think I paid seventy nine or eighty nine dollars for this bottle, and I've heard okay. that what this is okay. is just Weller Special Reserve. Okay. In a single barrel. No way. Yeah. Seriously. I can't confirm that hundred percent. I will say that. So this is oh. this is just kind of what I've heard, but I, I was not impressed. And I had, I will tell you, I had it probably up to about here, and I took it to a bottle share event to just have other people try it because I was <laughs> I was I wasn't impressed. And I, I know that a lot of these guys uh, spend secondary on some bottles, and I wanted to to kind of prevent them from making a mistake. Which was didn't you throw this into one of our live streams? I did with Kent and I. Yeah, uh, I can't remember see which what one happened it was. with it, and it didn't do very well in that blind mm -hmm. either. I think it came like second to last place or something. Yeah. I can't remember which blind we did. Yeah, yeah, that uh, I do remember that too now. Yeah, it's not so good. There's not a whole lot of sweetness there, really. I, I, I would almost honestly, I'd almost rather have a pour of uh, Weller Special Reserve. I, I would have said that. 100%. I mean, I mean, I'm being truthful about that. Um, you know, that's all right, but the nose for me is is spectacular. Okay. I think because I haven't had this in, in quite a while, I'll say. Okay. Yeah, but I, I like honeys and yeah. nice like things that going on. Smell the nose, but what did Barter Sports mm -hmm. say? That's not right. You don't <laughs> smell the nose. Smell the palate, whatever. You whatever. Smell the aromas. Yeah, smell the aromas. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, maybe this opened <laughs> up a little bit. But for me, it's yeah. it's it's a low price MSRP bottle compared to that, yeah. which is great. Sure. But the hype for this one maybe yeah. made me a little bit overzealous to get it because when I was when I was offered this bottle, I was like, hundred percent. I personally, honestly, Trent, I don't even feel like it's an eighty, ninety dollar bottle either. No, I mean, if, it's far from it. If this was forty bucks, now you're talking. It's a single barrel offering that would be a little bit more expensive than Weller Special Reserve because it's a single barrel. And who knows? I could, since this is a single barrel, we could just have maybe a not so good single barrel. You know, I'm not a massive Blanton's fan. I think mm -hmm. it's okay. I think it's pretty yeah. decent. But I'd rather have a pour of Blanton's over this one for sure. For sure. I could, it would be close for me, but yeah, I, I could, I could see your for argument sure, for that. Mm -hmm. I almost get more sweetness from Eagle Rare. Oh, and, I, and I'm, and I'm not, Rare for sure. and I'm historically not a huge Eagle Rare yeah, fan. Yeah, for sure. Oof. What else <laughs> you got over there in your bag of goods? I'm, I, oof. Oh no. I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do. Okay. We're going to go back to Heaven Hill before <laughs> oh. I, my, this last okay. one just irritated me a lot and <laughs> I, I have to talk about it maybe in a little bit more detail. But um, this was the the Heaven Hill twenty year was a corn whiskey. Yes, corn whiskey. Yep. Yeah. Um, I was told after the fact that this isn't the exact mellow corn mash bill. Um, you know, in the comments we were getting it back and forth. Yeah, it was, some were it was saying back yes, and forth. it is. Some would say it's not, but it's definitely a corn whiskey. Yeah. Regardless, I, I think what Heaven Hill does with their heritage collections is a, is a neat concept. Absolutely. Right. Because this, yeah. I mean, again, the seven, the two seventeens that came out last year, oh, blew my Heaven boxers Hill off. Seventeen year, it was a hard decision to see where those bottles placed in our top five of allocated last yeah. year. That seventeen Heaven Hill was unbelievably good. Yeah, loved it. And you know, this one is not comparing apples to apples with the with the mm -hmm. seventeen year because no. that was a blended right. blended, mm -hmm. and this is a corn right. whiskey. Sure, but again, I think this was like two forty nine for a twenty year. Trenton, this has been sitting in the glass for a good 20 minutes or so. What do you got? 
I know I'm kind of impaired a little bit in that regards. I don't have a whole lot. I don't have a lot to tell you. Honestly, Maybe on the nose, light honey. That's about all I got. I honestly, know. on the nose, I get a little bit of like a sharpie marker, a little bit okay. like a. It's it's almost like a rubbing alcohol. Yeah, kind of not like an astringent, like an okay. astringency alcohol kind of thing. It's extremely light on the nose, but again, it's corn whiskey. Yeah. Dude, that's to me. Again, to me. That's like mellow corn at a higher proof. Yeah. And mellow corn's what? 16 I think bucks? actually mellow corn has a little bit more flavor than that. I gave somebody a sample of this, Ian. I gave Ian a sample of this. Okay. And I gave him a bottle of mellow corn. Yeah. And I said, um, tell me which one you like better. Sure. But I didn't tell him oh, that yeah. I gave him this. Oh. I just gave him idea. this sample and gave him mellow yeah. corn. And I said, tell me which one you like better. Sure. He picked regular mellow corn. Yeah. I can this. see that. I can and this see is. That. 15 times more expensive than Melbourne. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that, do we? What? The price? How much it was? It's, it's on par with the, the, the Crown <laughs> Apple, you know? Um, Is it? I thought it was a little more than that. My bad. And don't get me wrong. A lot of these, like, yes, I get they are very high age statement. Yeah. And that's, that's, it's cool to have in your collection if you want to spend that kind of money. Mm-hmm. We, we did, you know? Um, but it's, it's just disappointing for the money. It is. And I just don't get a whole lot of flavor there. Mm-mm. It's extremely shallow. Yeah. Cut the prices for MSRP in half. Now you're talking. Because, I mean, it's an, it's an older expression. It does take it. They do get less out of the barrel from it. So I get that. If I It's in the barrel longer. If I would have tried that, if I would have had the opportunity to try that somewhere, I would have never bought that for any price. Yeah. Um, I, I, I pulled the trigger. You know, a little... little um, Eager beaver over here, but that's, that's just me. I'll buy it. if you, if you tell me it's a twenty three year crown apple, I'll buy it. Probably probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, so we got we got two Heaven Hills, we got one Buffalo Trace. I feel like these these yeah. three are some of the more sought after allocated bottles yeah. uh, that throughout the year. Whatever. Sure. This last one, <laughs> that one really hurt you. Really hurt because I'm a huge fan of Willet, especially their Rise. <laughs> And when I heard that they were coming out with a weeded bourbon, I mean, if they can do a rye that good, I was... And plus, it comes in this really nice black you bottle. You talked about this for a month before it I came did. out. I didn't even know it was coming out. And then Kevin uh, Rod, Zev, Rod Zevich, I think is how you say his last name, okay. um, sent me a picture of this. And he said, do you know anything about this? Hmm. And I, I think I was in the middle of the work and I just dropped everything <laughs> I was doing and tried to figure out what this was and um, texted a couple people and said, hey, if you find this, let me know. Huh. Um you got one. I got I one. I know. And I'm, this is my bottle that I paid for, unfortunately. Yeah. Somehow we came up, we found a few different ones, and I purchased that. Well, I felt bad, too, because Kevin, Kevin, when he texted me, he's like, hey, if you see another one, let me know. And we drove all the way to Michigan City and found one. We did. And then he got it, and he opened it, and he was like, ooh, <laughs> not so good. I know. But this is an eight-year right. uh, weeded bourbon for... Two hundred and twenty nine dollars. You can get their seven eight year rye for that much, and this blows this out of the water all day long. I honestly, what is the proof on this? I can't remember. One hundred and eight proof. Yeah. I would rather have like a Maker's Cast Strength or a Maker's Forty Six than that bottle. That's saying something for you. Yeah, I can't say it's my favorite. Um, I will put it a notch above a couple of these other ones that are on the bar top tonight. But it's a far cry from for a two hundred dollar bottle. That is for sure. And the age statement, eight years. Mm, maybe we should have thought about that a little bit too before purchasing. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. But like I said, will it? You know, it's a big name. It's a big thing. Weeded first time we're going to do it. Yeah. You know, you fall into that and, and you run out and get it. And I think I think the big thing we want to try to portray here, Trenton. I don't know about you, but I'll say it for myself. Try to research as much as you can, especially for purchases that are a little bit more expensive. Even if you can't find a bar somewhere that has a pour or a friend that has a pour, go online. If you go online, you can find you can find reviews from, from good valued sources. And of course you can go on YouTube, even other than our channel, and find good valued yeah. sources uh, with reviews for certain bottles. So do your due diligence to the best of your ability before purchasing, you know, especially higher priced yeah. bourbons and whiskeys. 
and you'll save yourself a couple of dollars. Yeah, I've, I've found when it comes to allocated stuff for me personally, mm -hmm. eight or nine times out of 10, the stuff that's really expensive is just, I don't want to say a letdown, but it's not exactly what, what I thought it was going to be. And the stuff that like uh, Booker's and, you know, Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs and Larceny Barrel Proofs and stuff, I think those are, are good releases that are somewhat allocated They're that are consistently worth the price. Consistently fairly solid, yeah. at least. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and not going to break the bank to purchase. So, I, you know, I mean, unfortunately for what we do here, you almost got to have some of them, if not quite a few. But, yeah. you know, that's his bag. That's not my bag. And I, I know he loves to get these. He loves the hunt. He loves the find. <laughs> that's primarily and, what it's yeah, about. Yeah. But... You know, and it's just it's saddening a little bit that, you know, it's just some of them just don't turn out that good. Yeah. But what it like, what is your ranking in terms of, of it? What would you pay for some of these? Oh, I, I'd say I wouldn't even purchase that at all. Okay. To tell you the truth. Uh, this one here, I'd rather sip a, a Weller Special Reserve. Yep. So 30, 30 something dollars. I think this isn't bad, really. It's just the letdown, I think, from the 17 year. You know, that's a $100 bottle. Though there's yeah. there's some goodness that you can find in there. And there's a little bit of goodness in here that I can find in here, too. Yeah. $80 for this bottle, $70, $80, maybe. Now you're talking. You know, then, okay, sure. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah. And and just to reiterate, not, not all of these are bad for the sake of being bad. Mm -hmm. They're just either maybe not so good as what I mm -hmm. thought they were going to be, or the price is just a huge letdown. I mean, come on. $230 for an eight year bourbon. Right. Come on. I know. 80 bucks, like you said, I'd buy, I'd drink that all day at 80 bucks. Sure. It's, it's halfway yeah. decent, but mm -hmm. for 229 bucks, right. it's not decent. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, you did a good job. 800 bucks worth of bourbon sitting on the, <laughs> for MSRP, by the way. I know. 800 bucks. And, well, you laid it out on the table for everybody. You know, sometimes yeah. hey, everything can't be all you know sunshine and roses. Am I right? Sometimes yeah. you gotta. Sometimes you gotta be forthright with the mistakes that we've made, and and hopefully everybody, including us, will learn from that. Well, if I if, I, if I've learned one thing is that I gotta be especially after that crown apple. I'm never gonna live that one down. But on a, on a happier note, since this was kind of a more, I don't want to say it was like a drag, but mm -hmm. a little bit more of a sadder video than what we usually do. Usually, yeah. if, if you want to have a bunch of fun and have a great time, come tonight and watch Kurt lose on the live stream. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. I'm um, going to be victorious, baby. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. I got some I got some hitters in mind for what I'm going to be putting up against your, your one bottle that you yeah. got. And I will... How, oh, how much do I got? Go. If, go, I, if I've had... I saw this, the wheels turning. If I've had this bottle that you say that you don't think I've had... Yeah. Do I get like fifty bucks or something, or I'll give you five hundred dollars if you if you say what it is. Join us tonight, at the end, <laughs> where I become rich and I get to get some money back from these <laughs> these bottles. Join us, that I it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Oh god! <laughs> all right, that's all we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. We all have lessons to learn in life, and that's a fact. So join us tonight, at eight p.m. Central Time. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time. Right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement urban bar. See you later.